um, hello? So, um, I don't know how to start. So, so guys, we have gathered around here to say that we might get two new planets in our solar system, which are Earth and Fia. Wait, it isn't Fia dead? Well, that's what I thought. But the Earth somehow brought her back to life. How is that even possible? I don't know. Okay. Anyways, Earth, before you join, we have a lot of questions to ask you. Yes, a lot. So, let's get started. But before that, speak of you having a place. Yeah, do you? No? Okay. Anyways, let's start. So, let's start you. Okay, so, your first question is, why did you come all the way here, outside of your solar system? Well, a lot has happened. You know, I've been going through a lot lately in my other solar system, or in mine at least, and everyone just treats me badly now. And why is that? Because of, you know, problems in my, you know, system. So, I left. If I didn't want to continue with those problems, I it would be better if I just left it. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, next question. Why did you exactly come here? The Trappist One system. Well, I don't know. It was the closest star to me, and I needed some heat, or else I would die and my airflings, which I don't care about anymore. So I just decided to choose here. But then, now you won't, you won't let me escape. Because apparently you want me to stay. I mean, come on, Earth. This is the most similar system to you. How do you know that? We'll get to that in a bit. Okay. I bet that's all we need. Now, for you, Via. So, how did Earth bring you back, exactly? Well, I actually felt like a long time ago, actually. But, first of all, the Earth found me in the Space Object Cemetery. Hold on. How did he get into that? I don't know. He somehow managed to get to that. And it was located around the Heliosphere. I thought you didn't know that, Via. Well, I'm alive again, which means I'm able to think more easier and have more thoughts. Oh, that actually makes sense. So, exactly, how did you, you know, come back? Oh, yeah, um, so, first of all, uh, the Earth brought me back to life by the Rebirther, which is, well... Uh, I'm not sure if that was true or not, but, like, I think the Rebirth Verb just brings objects from the dead back to life. Uh, that actually does not make any sense. What? what? What do you mean? This makes total sense. No, like, I'm saying, if Fia is brought back to life, that would mess up the timeline. What do you mean? I mean, Earth, you have probably heard about this, but... Fia is the main reason why you have your moon and life. Wow, I actually don't remember that. I thought Fia just crashed into me and formed my moon. It's much more deeper than that, Earth. Earth, if this exactly happened and you, and you revived Fia, what would the moon feel about this? Um, well, uh, I don't know. Okay, but... Are you sure this wouldn't mess up the timeline and anything? You know? I mean, he still has life, so it shouldn't affect the timeline pretty much. Yes, but like, what if someone like Chrysalis or maybe Planet V or one of those other dead hypothetical objects come back? What will happen? I don't know. Something. Well, whatever it is, I don't know anymore. Okay, uh, now, get to the point. 
Uh, we need to introduce ourselves. Makes sense. Hold on, everyone. We're all going to announce our names and descriptions of ourselves. From the closest to the sun, the farthest. All right, go. I'm Travis One B, the closest to the sun and the first of the Travis One planets. And just like your Mercury Earth in your system, I have very hot temperatures. Hi, I'm Travis One C, and I'm pretty much like Venus. Clouds, I think, pretty much. Some atmosphere, and also have some hot temperatures. So, would you look at that? You have two planets that are hot in your system, and two planets that are extremely hot in this system. That still doesn't, you know. Okay, keep going. Hi, I'm Travis Wendy. I am one of the most Earth like planets out there. Well, pretty much, yeah, definitely. Hi, I'm Travis 1E. I know, I already introduced you to me, but again, I actually am like the one of the most Earth likes, and I have a similarity of this on 95% or more. And uh, we're pretty much tidally locked, which allows us to keep our atmospheres in check. Uh, hey, uh, I'm F, Trappist One F, and again, I am another Earth-like exoplanet. Wow, you actually used exoplanet, not planet. Right, right. Hello, I'm Trappist One G, the only gas giant here, so Earth, uh, you're missing three other gas giants. Sorry, but... I'm green compared to your others. I'm Trappist One H, also known as Trappist One P, standing for tra yes, I get it, Trappist One Pluto. But anyways, I am the last exoplanet in the farthest from your Trappist One system. So I sometimes a little lonely, and I'm also the smallest of them all. Wow, that actually looks like a Pluto. Shut it, mate. Fine, fine. So, F, how do you came up with a decision? And what about Fia, though? Uh, I don't know. Sounds kind of fun, actually. But that depends on the Earth. Earth? Come on, Earth. Say your decision, if you have made one. I, I don't know. Come on, Earth, please. I'm very similar to you, similar to D and F. You have a gas giant. You have two extremely hot temperature planets. And you have a somewhat of a dwarf planet. So, this has to be the most similar, right? To your system? I mean, I don't even know. Uh, oh, oh, yes, come on, please yeah. join. just join us. I do get it whatever we're missing. And I can make it easier for you. And I can so probably have best friends, friends and have worst friends. friends with all your like problems. You. Okay. I have decided that I and Fia are gonna stay here. Yeah. Why? 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 Well, it's official. Earth and Fia, welcome to the Trappist One system. We hope you enjoy your stay. Is it just me, or does something feel off? What do you mean? Like, gravity? Oh, God. What the? Oh, my God! Earth, get out of the way! Guys, look out! Wait, no, no, no! Ow! What was that? Oh. My. 